Dancing in Jaffa by Sahar Khan, Jennifer Alvarado, and Alex Alvarez. Dancing in Jaffa is a documentary by Hila Medalia that takes place in a city in Israel named Jaffa. A famous ballroom dancer named Pierre Dulaine has a program called Dancing Classrooms, which he started in New York. He then took his program to his hometown in Jaffa to teach Palestinian and Israeli children a sense of unity between each other. There has been a major conflict between the two groups living in Israel, and Dulaine believed that dance is a way to bring them together. He chose children from five different schools, Palestinian and Jewish schools, and put them into one of Jaffa's integrated schools. There is a cultural difference between the groups, which causes drama in the beginning, but the children end up learning how to open up and be more open-minded. The picture below is Pierre Dulaine, who was born and raised in Jaffa, and is also half Palestinian and half Irish. The second picture is of two students. The boy is a Palestinian and Israeli, and the girl is a Jewish Israeli at the final competition. Here you can see the two are united and you can see through their body language that they are comfortable with one another. Ballroom dancing. Ballroom dancing is a social dance from where, form where there are two people involved. It was created in England in the late 18th century and is now a mainly found in the United States and Europe, but other parts of the world have also used it. This form of dance was very popular amongst the higher class elite group which was how people socialized at events. The word ball is derived from the Latin word baller, which means to dance. Dance as a social unifier. There has been a division within the people in Israel between the Palestinian Israelis and the Jewish Israelis for a tremendous amount of time. Peri Dulaine decided to take a step to help bring them together, introducing dance into the mix. He taught the kids tango, rumba, and merengue. Dance is, is used as a social unifier here because typically Palestinian and Jewish children are separated, but this dance class forced them to be together. In Islam, boys and girls are not allowed to touch the opposite gender, so it was a new thing for the Palestinian Israelis. Both groups never really interacted with each other before and had a bad image in each other's minds. In the beginning, the kids have stand, have, would stand far away from each other and would avoid making any sort of contact at any cost. Dulaine would nudge the children together in order for them to interact and cooperate. This dance allowed the kids to get to know each other and were able to learn that everyone is human and no one is more superior than the other. Dance as a social unifier continued. The dance class is forced, forced the kids to socialize with each other and go to each other's houses. This allowed them to learn and understand each other's cultures. Bringing in activities such as Dance to create a unity between two groups is a great idea because it allows for the children to work together and have something in common. At the final performance of the class, the parents were seen recording their children and supporting one another by talking to other parents. There was one child that stood out and changed the most throughout this documentary. Noor Gabani was an angry Palestinian girl who did not want to partake in any activity. Slowly, she changed and became very friendly towards her peers and towards the dance. The kids' attitudes towards each other transformed, and it is shown at the end of the documentary in the final competition. They all became friends and were united instead of divided, like their country. Dulaine's main goal was to close the gap between the two sides, which he successfully did in this documentary. Dance is a socio-political voice. The main goal of this documentary was to show how Dulaine wanted to bring children together from opposite sides of the political and cultural separation. He wanted to prove that both Palestinians and Israelis can live and work in harmony. Dance was used as a way for the kids to learn how to, to work with each other and also learn how to put their differences aside.